Hi there, Lee Griggs, Arnold Rendering Specialist at Autodesk. And I just want to go through how to set up and light a car model. If you want to follow along, there's this page here, which has got some studio lighting rigs. And there's a link here to a car model so you can join in. There's also this studio automotive rendering bit and tutorial that uh, goes through how to light a car using uh, HDR maps and so on. I'll put links in the description for you. So let's start off by creating an Arnold area light. I'm just going to go into the top view and move that around. Now you notice I'm moving and rotating the light without having to use the move translate rotate tools. So basically I've set up a bunch of hotkeys for doing this, which I, I thoroughly recommend you do. So for example, arrow keys uh, using pixel move to change the position of the objects and also created a rotation hotkeys for rotating objects and lights. It just makes things a lot, lot quicker and easier and more, more intuitive when you're setting up lighting in your scene. So I'm just going to move this to the front, and scale up a bit, increase the exposure, something like five, run the cam, and I can add a little bit of roundness and soften the edge just to give it more of a feeling for a, a softbox lighting. You see the effect the light's having here by softening it, just gives it that studio softbox lighting effect. Okay, so I'm just going to duplicate that light and we'll create some lighting on the side. Move that back a bit, rotate it around like so. Move it back a bit more, it's been quite intense. And I'm just going to scale it up so it fills up that side. Um, we can also add colour temperature to, to these. So I'm just going to enable colour temperature. Just duplicate that as well and move this to the front so it gets some front lighting. Just pick up the highlights at the front here. Go to the side view, just lift, lift up a bit. Maybe just increase the exposure a bit. Okay, so that's this side and front. Just want to tackle this side now. So let's move another duplicate and move this light to the side. Just want to just catch the edge of this side here. Scale it out a bit. Now it's still a bit dark on the top here, so I'm going to just add another light. Move it across and just rotate it. So it's pointing downwards. Scale it down a bit just to focus it more. Now you wouldn't do this in the real world, obviously pointing lights directly on the car. This is not something you do in a real photography studio, but because this is CG, we can do what we want. I'm going to reduce the exposure a bit for that light, it's just so we keep it a bit darker and moody. But you want to catch the highlight here. Oops, wrong one. A bit more, three, five. Okay, so let's say we're happy with that. You can fine tune it, obviously. Uh, just, just, just a little tip: make sure your specular rate depth is high when, re when rendering car lights. The default by, by is one, which is quite, quite dark. If you increase that to six, you can see it brings out all the specular reflections in the light. You can of course change the specular contribution of the lights. So if you wanted to you know, reduce it, reduce that there, or at the front, you can reduce the specular contribution just to tweak that. So now using operators, we can also adjust the car paint. So maybe I want to change the, the car paint here. This is a stand-in of a with a procedural an asp file going into the procedural. Uh, I'm just going to go in and change the car paint. Okay, 
And then we can add assignment. So I'm just going to change the base weight. Just take that off, just darken that. We can kind of subtle effect. And I've got some images as well. So we've got some lens effects, some vignetting. Just to frame that and then change the toe mapping. I prefer Filmic. And then lastly, you can just desaturate the car, maybe. So, yeah, that's basically it. Thanks for watching. Bye.